Okay, I finished the installation for the for the x-axis anyway, and uh, not too unhappy with the way it looks. Uh, what we want to know, I think, is is it accurate? So I've got a piece of brass. I've taken two or three uh, cuts, so I've got no tool spring. So that's kind of the size of this. It's not cutting anymore. Two or three cuts at the same setting. It's not cutting anymore. That's the where the tool tip is. Is kind of the represents the diameter of the brass. Okay, so we'll try setting up, turning to some different diameters, and see how close we get. All right, my uh, my one to two inch micrometer is getting old, but. Still kind of okay. I've got here one four five six seven one four seven two and eight tenths one four seven two eight. So uh, I've read the instructions. I'm going to press X one point four seven two. Eight one four seven two eight. We will see what happens when we shoot for. Okay, let's shoot for a. Let's shoot for inch. Um, I'll take three cuts of a hundred thou, and then do a finishing pass and see what happens. See what measurement we get when it says inch on the DRO. All right, first mistake, I moved the slide in and the X coordinate didn't move. Uh, now, uh, it's because I didn't press enter to go back into a sort of accounting mode after I entered the coordinate. So, uh, taking another measurement and it's one One four it was actually one four seven zero. So try again. X one four. No, 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 no. Oh, this is going to be a bad day. Clear. No. All right. Try again. X one decimal four seven. Zero, zero. That's one inch four seventy thou. Yeah. Okay. Again. And now I've got to press enter. Okay. And now it should be counting. Now you can see it's moved a tenth, or clicked to the nearest tenth. I think because of the resolution of the scales. So let's see how we go now. All right. Take me a while to work this out. For. Uh, for it to work, for me to shoot for one inch, I've got to be in diameter mode, which means I needed this light lit here, but I've set that now. A simple matter of pressing X and uh, RD to toggle from radius to diameter. So that was easy. Uh, it's just going to take me a bit of getting used to. Right, we're going to shoot for one inch in three cuts with uh, several spring passes to try and get us where we are. See what we got. All right, I'm, I'm in the habit checking with with a few thou to go. So I left myself five thou there, actually four thou and seven tenths on the diameter. And now for the moment of truth, let's get a micrometer and have a measure. Okay, what we should have, what I'm hoping for, depending on how accurate my measuring is there. Is one inch four thou seven tenths. No cheating here, that's the light. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Let's get it focused. That is one inch four thousandths. All right, between seven and eight tenths. Let's go for my one inch. 
and see what happens. There's one inch dialed in. Okay, we'll take a cut, we'll measure. Alright, here we go again. Mm, that doesn't say inch, and we clean. Okay. Sometimes it comes down to how accurately you can measure. Look at that. One tenth over. Nobody's, nobody's really going to complain about something being one tenth over. I mean, the lathe I could have run down, taken another spring pass, touched it with some cloth. So uh, I'm really pleased with the accuracy over small distances. Um, I guess I should really put something big on a face plate and check it over large distances. But you know, that's that's better accuracy than I can achieve often by uh, looking at the little the little numbers on the wheels there and tapping them around as my eyes get old I'm finding it hard to work in tents so and of course the uh, the backlash and everything in the you know the threads on this old machine are worn so it's probably more accurate using the DRO uh, I'm just gonna have to get used to not not staring at the DRO uh, while I work and crushing the tool into things, I think, and get used to its settings. But so far, very encouraging. I've still got uh, the other scale to attach, and uh, I think I'm going to have to make a little chip sweeper to go under this guard here. I think chips, small chips, especially like brass, are going to get on the end there. I think I'll make a little wiper, a little rubber wiper to attach there so they get swept out each time the this scale travels. Apart from that, I'm um, very pleased so far um, with the general accuracy of this of this little tool and the cost. I've been wary of Chinese imports for a while, but you know, times change.